but we're going to get the snow. That's actually moving into the area, and this isn't going to be a giant snow event that's moving in. So without further ado, let's just get right into the future cast, because I know that's why you're all watching right now. So we have these clouds that are going to stick with us tonight, along with the winds. But the bigger story is our temperatures are going to be dropping tonight, and that's going to set the stage for some snow tomorrow. Now, most of the day is going to be pretty quiet, but this is a snapshot at 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And you can see that southern border of Pennsylvania with West Virginia and Maryland. That's where we're starting to see the first little bits of snow arriving. Now, through the evening, that's going to lift up to the north, and where you get those darker hues of blue, that's an indication of where we're going to see some of the steadier snows falling. So, most of this is going to be heaviest south and east of Pittsburgh. This is a 1 a.m. snapshot of Friday morning. By the time we're at 2, 3 a.m., most of this snow is going to be fizzling out, and that'll continue to be the case as we go into uh, Friday morning and Friday afternoon. We'll see that snow fizzling out. When it comes to snow accumulations, these are not big numbers for their locations. In Pittsburgh, we're looking at generally around an inch. Now, as you go north and west of Pittsburgh, those numbers fall off a little bit less than an inch there, around an inch for Pittsburgh. Once you start getting down south along I-70 and out towards the ridges, you get one to two. And then as you climb into the ridges, two to four inches, not out of the question. One more time with the timing of this. It starts about four to eight tomorrow from uh, southwest to northeast. The bulk of the snow is going to fall between 8 a.m. or 8 p.m. and 1 a.m. And then it'll start to taper off after that in the wee morning hours of Friday. So this should be pretty much done by the Friday morning commute. One of the other things we're going to be dealing with in the short term is some wind chills. Right now our wind chill is 19 in Pittsburgh, 30 in Connellsville. So you can see that cold air is draining in here. Go out towards Akron, go out towards Cleveland, and you see single-digit wind chills. That's what we're going to be looking at early tomorrow morning. So plan on the wind chills at the bus stop to be down into the single digit range early on. And the best it's going to feel tomorrow is about 20, 22 degrees. Tonight's actual temperature will get down to about 20. And this comes with those 15 to 25 mile per hour winds. You probably hear some gusts outside your window right now. Tomorrow, breezy and cooler. Again, most of the day is going to be fairly quiet aside from those breezes. It will be colder, and with that, we see the snow potential starting to turn on late. So most of the day, we're going to see more clouds than anything else and cold temperatures more than anything else until we get later into it, and that's where the snow starts to fly. So, again, two to four inches not out of the question in some of those highest ridges, but around Pittsburgh, we're looking at generally around an inch. Now, we're talking some mid to upper 20s the next couple of days. Friday, some on and off snow, but I don't think that's going to amount to too much. Fairly quiet Saturday, rain and snow on Sunday with the warmest temperatures of the week there. And from there, our temperatures fall again. Look for some low 20s Monday and Tuesday.